Joshua Kidd. Hello. All right. Uh, thank you guys for having us out tonight, and uh, thank you Launch DFW for the opportunity to present. So, my name is Joshua Kidd. I am the uh, founder of Infusion Payment Technology. We are a six-year-old fintech firm. We've achieved 30% growth year over year. Last year, we did over 100K in revenues, and we are building to scale to a 10X. We service manufacturers, distributors, retailers, healthcare companies, and uh, multi-location franchises both here in DFW and across the United States. One of the problems that we've identified inside of our marketplace is a friction between supply and demand. Now this problem has a secondary problem which is a poor customer experience. So on the supply and demand side, you've got demand which is requiring convenience, mobility, and a trusted source. And then on the supply side, they're wanting more integration. They're wanting a direct market relationship and scaled production. Now, more importantly, what's happening in this customer experience is you're seeing a lot of fraud, you're seeing a lot of predatory practices, lack of transparency, which is ultimately capital losses on both sides of the market. So Infusion Payment Technologies wants to eliminate that friction through our solution. And our solution is a supply and demand matching app. Now, what this does on the, on the demand side, it is allow small businesses and businesses, large businesses, to enter in their information. Now, that information passes through our server and our algorithm will take place. Then on the supply side, these credit card processing companies will be able to input their information in as well. Now, as that passes back through that information to our customers, what's going to happen is there's going to be a matching that takes place over time through the learning algorithm. But more importantly, not only are the customers going to be matched with the credit card processors, but the credit card processors will be matched with the customers. And also, the offers that come from the credit card processors will be set up for bids by the customer, and then, and then the customers will be set up for bids by the credit card processors. Now, how do we make money with this? Well, as it stands today, our revenues come from referral fees. We get paid anywhere from $200 to $650 per referral. And in addition to that, we get between 50% and 75% on the reoccurring revenue. But more importantly, any hardware sales that take place, we get 50 to 60%. Now, when it comes to an investment, what are we looking for? We're looking for advisors. We're looking for guidance. We're looking for those that know how to put together a capital structure. We're also looking for technical experts that have developed apps before. But most importantly, we're looking for mentors, those that have scaled businesses to the marker that we're trying to achieve. And lastly, how are we going to get a return on this investment? That's going to be through the acquisition of this technology. These publicly traded companies are looking for innovation inside of their organization. Now, why would a publicly traded company want to acquire this technology? Well, a lot of them have subsidiaries. And these subsidiaries are looking for ways in order to get more customers. So ultimately, if one of these publicly traded companies acquires the technology, their subsidiaries register and they have customers coming to them, their value of the publicly traded company goes up and they have a competitive advantage over the other. So my name is Joshua Kidd. I'm the founder of Infusion Payment Technologies and I'd like to take your questions. Questions? You don't get excited. I practiced that. I got it down to a minute and a half. So as a part of this process, as a merchant, would I get approved instantly once you match me? Absolutely. Awesome. So how do you get past the fact that none of the companies you had listed for acquisition have open APIs right now? They do in the application process now. A they, lot of them have They started. don't. <laughs> they don't. So my specialty is, is I take software companies and I help them monetize payments. WorldPay, just today I had a conversation with because a software company that does 5,000 merchant accounts a month wants instant approval, and they can't do it yet. Um, and most of the ones you have listed up there don't do it yet. So you're going to have well, a real problem there. Well, Vantiv actually has what's called a PayFact now. Right, 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 right. And so now a lot of them can utilize PayFacts. And a lot of the PayFacts now have multiple NAICS codes available to them for instant approval. Now, as far as the underwriting process, the industry itself is still lagging in traditional underwriting. But a lot of them are moving that speed through the payback model, and that's where we're going to. That's where the integration part comes in. 
And a lot of them have started to dial back what they need as far as getting an account approved. And that's where your, the learning algorithm will come back in because the credit card processing companies that can uh, create the customer experience and make it better are going to win over the companies that do not. So even though like WorldPay may not have it directly as WorldPay, some of their subsidiaries do because they take on the risk for the account. I like the back and forth between two experts like that. I would watch y'all have coffee and like kind of debate. Thanks, man. That would be fun. Good question. Yeah, I want you to keep going because I have got to say I do not understand what you do. So can you, <laughs> can you like do it in two sentences like I'm a five-year-old or I'm like me and I just don't get it? Yeah, so, Thank you. so basically we're connecting credit card processing companies with customers. And we're doing that through a matching and bidding environment. Because that's essentially what we're doing. So thank LendingTree. Uber uses the same model. So as a merchant, you know, what's my benefit for you actually using your service? The benefit comes from you're going to get more transparency and you're going to get a better experience when it comes to your services altogether because you're going to get to select the company that you get to work with because right now if you go out and you try to get a merchant account where do you turn to there's not really a reliable trusted source to give you the information you need and there's so many different credit card processing companies that have so many different solutions so what solution do you pick and that's where this comes in because you'll get to enter in your information that information will be sent over to the credit card processing companies and then they'll get to enter in their solutions and send it back to you. But more importantly, based on your expectations and based on what we've learned from the experiences of other customers, your, your, your bids are going to come back and they're going to be ranked one after another. So ultimately giving you, the merchant, the best experience. But payment processors now, I mean, it's, it's, I mean competition is... I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know? So they're always offering a lower rate you know, to the merchant. So from the, um, from the supplier or the processor standpoint, what's their benefit? Their benefit is going to be the customers that are going to be coming in. So a lot of the credit card processing companies are having a hard time acquiring new customers. And the reason why is exactly what you're experiencing because it's so fragmented. And so that's exactly what this solution is going to provide is an opportunity for credit card processing companies to get more customers. And then the biggest benefit is going to be when you as a merchant get matched with a credit card processor. Not all credit card processors want certain types of merchants. Like let me give you an example. Like Square. Square wants merchants that are mobile, right? That's their big play. You know, would they want a big, large national franchise like Starbucks? They wanted it, but they couldn't handle it, right? But a company like WorldPay could handle a big national franchise like Starbucks, right? So you see how the matching would take place because not all credit card processing companies can service all markets and not all markets want to work with credit card processing companies. Just real quick, and I think you mentioned it, but it can also, it's measuring the risk of the merchants too. And are you, is it your own thing? Or are you tying into something that like Aperia offers or... I just didn't know how you're doing What was the other part? Uh, there, there's companies that help manage the risk. I just didn't know, is that your own algorithm that you're helping detect risk or are you using something else to help detect the risk of merchants and whatnot? That's where the technical advisors will come in. And so that's why we're out here today is to look for those technical advisors so that we can put together the solution. Thank you.